Hello everybody, it's Conspiracy Carl, it's the 15th of Feb and it's uh, 14.40 GMT UK time. Anyway, I just wanted to, um, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to start this. I'm a believer in Flat Earth, as you've probably gathered through a lot of my videos. Um, I'm not the only one out there, but anyway, I'm also sort of crossed between this Middle Earth thing, Agatha, um, Apparently, the as above, so below means um, an entrance up above and an entrance or an exit or an entrance down below. So there's an exit, entrance up above us and an entrance, exit below us. Hence, as above, so below. So it doesn't actually mean, um, you know, we can't get out above us and we can't get out below us. Or there's a hell below us or there's a hell above us. It doesn't mean that. It actually means that there's an entrance above us and an entrance below us. Hence Middle Earth, Agatha, Shambhala, um, the places that the Tibetans were, you know, they've been hiding for thousands and thousands of years. These entrances um, to these Middle Earth, uh, apparently there's a place called Wolf Pit in England and um, there were some green children that were, they, they just appeared one day and um, Unfortunately, the the boy uh, child, because the, the, there's a boy and a, a girl child, and um, they're both green skinned, and um, they couldn't eat. They 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 wouldn't eat meat. They wouldn't eat the stuff that we was eating. And when they were given peas, they they scoffed these peas and greens and stuff down. You know, and obviously vegetarian. Um, the boy had obviously been. Um, you know, malnourished for some time that he passed away. The girl apparently learnt to adapt over time and survived. Anyway, in this place called Wolf Pit, they have got, um, you know, some sort of folklore or um, memorabilia of this. Um, I, I don't know, you know, to what extent the memorabilia is because I haven't seen it, um, only what I've researched. So, unless I see it with my own actual eyes, then I'm a bit dubious because there's a lot of stuff, you know, that we have to be very careful of. This is why um, I'm doing this video because I wanted to apologise to the people that um, I thought I knew what the as above, so below really meant when it doesn't it actually means something completely different so this i'm not saying this isn't a prison planet what i'm trying to say is, is there's a, an entrance where some souls can escape out at the top and some souls can escape out the bottom this is all also known as um i believe a dimensional shift um when if you used to go into the seventh dimension i believe then you would be going into agatha or shambhala um, Sham I believe that Shambhala is before Agatha. Shambhala is like a big city that you come to before you come to Agatha. Um, the Tibetans have been, you know, uh, guarding these entrances for whew, and these exits for thousands of years. They were shown the secrets. Um, us, you know, uh, Caucasians and other people around the world, we were kept all these secrets away from us. For what reasons? For control. I mean, come on, if, if everybody believed that we were stuck on this little ball, it'd be a lot easier to control us. If there was a lot bigger place out there with a lot more land and this other place that, you know, uh, that we've never even heard of, really, or some people have heard of, but not all, should I say. Sorry, I'll correct myself there. Um, you know, there's, there's some other people that say if you go to this place, it's a one-way ticket. If you go there, you can't come back. Um, so please think about that. If you are going there, or do have plans to go there to the, you know, um, Antarctica or, or wherever this this entrance is, I do believe it is out, out in Antarctica way because that's why it explained why all the Queen and all these so-called elites went out that way, and um, you know that a lot of these people took helicopter rides or whatnot. I think it was Buzz Aldrin or something turned around and said, oh, don't go over there, it's pure evil, it's pure evil. He's just trying to get people to not go there, basically, by scaremongering. Don't believe him at all. I never have believed any of them astronauts because they've always come out with different stories, every single one of them. Oh, yes, we can see the stars. Oh, no, we can't see any stars. Oh, yes, we can see the moon. Oh, no, we can't see the moon. Oh, yes, we've been there. We went right through the Van Allen belts. 
And then you get all these other people, scientists, saying we, we, we can't send anybody past the Van Allen belts. And these are even people that work for NASA. And then if you look at the first so-called space shuttle, you know, that went there, I mean, you're talking ZX81 computers and things like that, you know, 1K memory. And they, they can't even get back there now with the gigabytes and terabytes and everything else they've got now. Think about it. You know, it doesn't make sense at all. It really doesn't. And their excuses are, we lost the technology, sorry, we can't, it's too painstaking and, you know, we can't, we can't do it again. Pathetic, sorry, I've never heard so much <laughs> pathetic excuses in my life. I mean, if we, if we was to come up with an excuse like that for work that we was being paid to do and we come up with an excuse like that, you'd be fired and you'd never work again. I mean, these people just backtrack on what they're saying all the time, um, so I'm sorry I still don't believe in the globe. Um, I'm not so sure about the the oblique, oblique spheroid either because that's just um, it's just repeated. It's just repetitive. It's just um, oh, what's his name? Tr uh, the uh, the actor I'm trying to think of his name he tries to say he's a particle physicist. Um, I can't think of his name. There's another one, Neil deGrasse Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's the one, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, pretends that he knows everything about physics. If you look up his actual resume or you know to see what he's done with his life, he is actually an actor. Um, if you look what I've done with my life, I do use my true name. Um, I have done, you know, a lot of my earlier stuff before I changed it to Conspiracy Carl. Um, I gave out my whole full name, um, which I'm not scared to do now because you can check it up. It's Carl Sills, and I've always lived in England. Um, uh, there are a few millionaires and people like that that have the same name as me, but they're not me. <laughs> I wish I was one of them, but then I don't because I wouldn't want that money. I wouldn't want all that. No, definitely not. Anyway, you can check what I've done with my life. I've done a few things. I've done quite a lot of jobs. I like to call myself Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Then that way, I've got a lot of things under my belt that I can always use at my disposal. So that was my choice um, of my, you know, um, what I wanted to do with my life so I could, you know, put my hands to most things. So that's that sort of taught me what I wanted to know. Um, this channel that I do now, I don't get paid for it, I don't use advertising, I don't do anything like that, um, because that's not what I want, all I want to do is to educate others in, you know, in things that I've done, in things that I've found, and, you know, I just want, I just want to pass on my information, hope that it helps others, that's, that's, that's my goal, um, sorry about the shaky picture, I'm holding it in my hands, so, I can't find a stand anywhere, so <laughs> things are getting really bad. I haven't got a stand. <laughs> no, sorry. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and try and educate myself a lot more on this Agatha, and um, I do know about Shambhala, so but I wanna, you know, I wanna get the cream on the cake with the icing on top as well. I know the whole lot, and then that way I can relay everything that I know to you, my subscribers. Um, again, I want to thank every each and every single one of my subscribers. Um, I never dreamt in a million years that I'd get over two hundred people. That you know that that's it. totally totally outstanding. And I want to thank every each and every single one of you for for subscribing and um, sticking by me. Even the people that leave the negative comments, I, I don't mind. I don't you know it doesn't really bother me that much. You know? <laughs> I just have to argue the point a bit more. That's all. But anyway, like I want to say, thank you ever so much for every single one of you that have subscribed. And, you know, please give us a like now and again, or even a dislike, comment down below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because I've got lots and lots more to come. So please, this is only just getting interesting, so please subscribe, because it's going to get a lot, lot better. Um, I've got a video coming up about the Gitmo, about the, um, the Bushes, the uh, Clintons... Um, Obama uh, they've all been arrested apparently just before Christmas so I'm doing a video on that coming up very very soon perhaps within the next couple of days I'm just trying to gather the rest of the information before I do it so anyway thank you every single one of you love, peace and unity goes around to the whole world um, cons Conspiracy Carl 
like I say, remember, unite, don't fight, we're all one, okay? This is nothing, this is just a battery housing, we're all, under, all, all the same underneath, okay? Love each and every single one of you. Conspiracy Carl, I'm out.